Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Downey and today we are going to discuss why you shouldn't use pre-workout. So I'm sorry if the quality of this video is worse. I'm using my phone to record because I'm having issues with my camera. So whilst the title isn't entirely correct and this video is more s s directed towards PED users, I think it's important to consider the reason why you need a pre-workout in the first place and weigh up the risk versus the reward. So a lot of times people say don't use pre-workouts because you don't know what's in them. Well, it's the fact that we know what's in them nowadays that we can advise why some people shouldn't take pre-workouts and others are fine to take them. And the reason I advise PED users not to take them is because pre-workout use plus PED use plus working out itself, assuming you're using the pre-workout before a workout, that combination can lead to harmful side effects that you may want to avoid. So the problem with this combination is that each one exacerbates this sympathetic nervous system pathway, increasing your blood pressure and heart rate. So the sympathetic nervous system is the part of the nervous system responsible for giving you that fight or flight response or that overdrive. It causes anxiety, increases in blood pressure and heart rate. So the thing with pre-workouts is we know most of their action comes from being a stimulant. It contains caffeine or whatever stimulant it may contain. And the problem with this is it, it increases your blood pressure and heart rate by stimulating the sympathetic nervous system and other pathways. So whilst this in isolation isn't necessarily a problem, when you combine that with PED use, it becomes a bit worse because PEDs are known to stimulate sympathetic nervous system and they are known to increase heart rate and resting heart rate as well as blood pressure. That is very well documented. And especially in the case of something like Anadrol, which is used to stimulate sympathetic nervous system, especially before a competition to, or before you, let's say you're going for your one rep max. It is used in those instances for this purpose. And it's just known that PEDs in general, especially DHT derivatives, are known to spike your sympathetic nervous system. But it doesn't end there. When going into the gym, there are other problems. The main one being you're increasing your heart rate because you're exercising. And this on top of the PED use and the stimulant use creates a heart rate that is can be quite lethal for some, which I'll explain now. Another issue is because you're lifting heavy weights, your blood pressure increases. This is well documented. And um, the fact that you're psyching yourself up by either listening to music or just psyching yourself up through thoughts or whatever it may be. And this psyching is essentially activating your sympathetic nervous system so that you can lift more weight or produce a higher output or power output. Furthermore, steroid users tend to be heavier individuals. And the issue with this is heavier individuals have higher resting heart rates as well as maximal heart rates and they tend to have higher blood pressure. So the combination of this causes two undesirable side effects, many more, the two main ones I'm going to look at. First one being a massive spike in blood pressure. All of these things increase your blood pressure, especially around the workout period. And whilst it may seem like it's just a spike, because workouts don't make up most of your day, that could be, for the average individual, one hour of your day is spent with this blood pressure that is extremely high, sometimes in the high 200s over 100. And this itself causes end organ damage. What end organ damage is, is essentially the side effect of having prolonged high blood pressure. So this causes renal or kidney damage. Um, other issues like arteriosclerosis. Um, arterio, not athero, but it can contribute to that, and things like left ventricular hypertrophy. And the second issue is the increase in heart rate. So all of these factors, especially the stimulants combined with the exercise, combined with the PED use, 
causes an extremely high heart rate, and this can reach a point where it's far over your maximal heart rate and in a deadly range, which can precipitate tachyarrhythmias, such as things like ventricular fibrillation, or just events that can be quite serious and can result in either things like fainting or death. Um, I'm not saying this happens all the time, but it is, but in some susceptible individuals, and you may have seen many uh, videos on it, where someone, oh, dry scoops um, a pre-workout, and then they go work out, and then they end up in the ER, or just take a pre-workout, and then go for a run or something, and end up in the ER, because their heart rate, or because they faint, or something like that, they feel nauseous, or, you know, lightheaded, short of breath. And these things tend to be attributed to tachycardia. That itself is, causes more uh, acute damage or acute problems. So something you'll notice instantly, whereas the high blood pressure you experience during your workout is more of a chronic issue that over time can create problems. And it has been shown in some studies that in some individuals who work out that the spike in blood pressure might it's still not very well known, but it might cause things like glomerulosclerosis in the kidneys, or just precipitate that. So the point of bringing up those issues isn't trying to scare you, it's just so that you are aware of it. But if you are someone with an already high heart rate or have struggling with blood pressure issues as is, I think you should first control that before considering a pre-workout. Because some individuals, especially PED users, have their blood pressure and their heart rate controlled when on cycle, which is good, and adding a pre-workout might not do much harm to them. This is more for individuals who are kind of just, you know, taking pre-workout without really knowing what it does to you and how it works, and, uh, and using PEDs and not really knowing that they can spike your blood pressure as is. So, of course, this doesn't just mean PED users shouldn't use pre-workout. I'm not saying no one should use pre-workout. I just think it you should be moderated or by the individual themselves, and it isn't needed all the time, perhaps in specific scenarios, such as going for a one rep max or things like that, and not using it constantly. But again, that causes a problem because infrequent use means that you don't have the same tolerance to the stimulants and that means it has a bigger effect which means you could take a dose you were used, used to take which has a much bigger effect on you now and if you don't if you take anything away from this video it's just that pre-workout use should not be seen seen as something that is harmless whilst it's not as harmful as you know your parents may work uh, make it out to be its use itself needs to be understood before using it chronically. So what are you? What can you do to avoid these unwanted side effects? Well, first of all, controlling your blood pressure and heart rate, ensuring all other factors that you can control are controlled, and perhaps using a stimulant free pre-workout, and just knowing your body. So on a day where you already have enough energy to go to the gym, your heart rate, you're already, let's say, a bit your sympathetic system is already a bit high because let's say there's stress or something, perhaps it isn't best to use a pre-workout because it might exacerbate that. And there are some who use beta blockers after the workout. I think Leon Longevity did that, but um, that doesn't really help with the issue which is the workout where it's not really going to control your blood pressure and your heart rate during the workout since you're using it afterwards. I think he's using it in order to reduce the prolonged sympathetic response after a workout, which in itself I'm critical of, but I'll make a video on that. So essentially what I'm saying is prior to adding a work a pre-workout into your supplement stack, I would ensure your blood pressure and heart rate are controlled. Other ways to tackle blood pressure during the workout are th using things like Cialis during the workout, but at the same time you don't want your blood pressure to drop too much during the workout, because that itself can increase your heart rate and cause fainting, syncope, things like that. Fainting and syncope are the same thing. 
So let me know what you think in the comments down below, whether you think I'm wrong, right? I'm not trying to hate on anyone that uses pre-workouts because I myself have used them in the past and I do use them from time to time. It's just to be aware of what they're doing to your body and how their use should be moderated. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in another one.